Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Shortest Trip to Earth. Picking up here right where we last left off. I think we need to go to another sector because this star system that we're in uh, only has one planet. So let's head over to the sector map. Uh, we're down here, we've searched the rest of these star systems. We've gone to this one already, but we do need to go there just to get to the next point. Actually, I think the only place we have left to go to is Stylo, the, uh, the exit here. So let's go ahead and we'll warp over there. We have six jumps remaining. It takes 50 fuel to do each jump. So we're actually gonna use up quite a bit of our fuel uh, just to get out of this system. I don't know if we want to buy anything. We only have 88 credits, so let's just keep going. We'll just warp to this, and then we'll warp up to Vulo. There's actually two planets there that we have to visit. All right, there we go. Much better. Down to 152 fuel. Uh, we got our assignments here. That's fine. Let's check out the star system. So, we got a couple locations up here. Let's check this out. An ocean planet. It looks like we have an uh, incoming ship as well. Pre-industrial sentience. The planet is completely covered with water and is probably home to a lush ecosystem. Presence of sentience is likely due to ship-like objects spotted in the ocean. Send shuttles into the atmosphere for a closer look. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's send the crew. Exploration team has verified the presence of an early civilization. It is divided into small tribes who spent only a fraction of their time fishing. Most of the life revolves around uh, who shares a boat revolves around who shares a boat with whom and how tribes are formed. Surprisingly, the entire civilization seems to lack weapons or any notion of war. We might consider leaving such a rare peace culture undisturbed. Uh, we can research, leave the civilization undisturbed, or we can research and contact the locals. Let's contact them. Maybe we can learn some stuff from them. After modeling their luggage and basic customs, our explorers make themselves known as the fish to the fishermen. It turns out they call themselves the freemen and hold freedom of each to choose their own companions in highest regard. They bring us cultural and edible gifts and offer a chance to catch some fish from their ocean. So 25 organic and one fate point uh, we can research the locals and eco harvest organics we can research locals and industrial scale biomass harvest uh, we already have a lot of food right now let's just uh, research the locals and eco harvest organics operatives carefully and ecologically harvest some plants Parts and sea animal eggs without disturbing the local biodiversity balance or killing or any fully developed organisms. Research on the local civilization created much xenodata. Great, we got some money as well. And we have a fuel trader. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Get 100 fuel for 166 credits. Get 100 fuel for three exotics. We only have one exotic. Sell 50 credits for one exotic. Leave, uh, no, let's get uh, 100 fuel for 166 credits. We'll use all our credits to buy fuel. Thanks for the trade. Uh, we also get an accurate 3D model of what it would look like if the sculpture exploded. A truly unique piece of art. Yeah, cool, we got some explosives. And a side bonus. Okay, let's check out. Uh, oh, we have excess. Okay, we have excess organic, so let's convert that to fuel. A little bit more fuel for us. And a lifeless planet. Warp engine signals. Lifeless planet has a definite warp energy source on its surface. It could be a precursor technology or possibly a warp animal. Let's investigate. The warp energy comes from a large, very advanced robot. It hacks one of our bots to communicate safety and then releases it. Okay, let's approach it. As our crew approaches, they get an unnerving feeling that somebody is reading their minds. You need help. The robot states coldly. It looks at our ship, and we see pieces of ground rising up in the air around it. The dirt transforms into metal bits, which attach themselves to the ship's hull. The robot then falls silent. 
Oh, so we got... Uh... Oh, wow, three ship points. Very cool. We just got our ship upgraded by a sentient robot. All right, well, that's it for this star map. Let's head to the exit. Very cool. And the communications are jammed. There's an approaching ship. We detect two small Rat Empire ships approaching tactical weapons range. They are using some kind of robust auxiliary jamming device that prevents us from analyzing their ships at this range. Uh, Rat Empire, okay. Uh, we don't have the credits. Could bribe our way through. But I think, you know, we've been doing pretty good with the battles. So let's go ahead and do another battle here. And let's see what we got. A ship with a shield. Ship without a shield. We have all our weapons operational. Um, our one weapon here. Uh, I need to remind myself here. This is the exotic ray projector that uses exotics as a f ammo type. Um, hmm. Then we have the two exotics. Okay. So we'll maybe save that for the end of the battle maybe to finish something off or we could just uh so what does it do here does it ignore shields i don't think so burns exotics with each shot to gener generate a single powerful warp ray large areas of effect can cause fires and module overloads but may be deflected so a chance of it deflecting emp 10 seconds how big is the area fairly big Okay, we'll save that for uh, when we really need it. Uh, everyone is at their stations. Yeah, I think we're good to go here, actually. Um, we don't need that operational. We do need someone in our shields, which we do have. Okay, I think we are ready to go here. So let's uh, focus on this one. Let's find the shield generator. Uh, ba -ba -ba. That's the reactor. A reactor. This must be the shield generator here. Yeah. All right, let's go there. And let's go after the reactor. And our missile platform will take out maybe a reactor on this one. Or you know what? Since this one doesn't have a shield, let's send our laser over here. And we'll take out, there's a micro reactor. Yeah, we'll just send it. Oh, maybe we should just go out for this. Okay, so we'll do there, and then this guy can go down in here. All right, cool. So let's send this off. Let's see how we do. Oh, wow, they got a lot of uh, a lot of lasers there. Nice. Okay, we took out a reactor. So we got a few things offline. Let's continue firing in here. Nice. And let's take out maybe the bridge. Oh, nice. That was fast. All right, and we'll just finish the job here. Super easy, we didn't even take any damage. Hell yeah. Super simple. And we got uh, one Xeno Data credit, uh, quite a bit of metal, some synthetics, a little bit of fuel, three modules. What do we get for modules here? Uh, command bridge type Duo 2. Uh, it's the exact same that we have. So I think we could just scrap that. 
Uh, printed engine. Requires two power, 30 per 100 RU. That might be better than ours. So it's got, well, ours has more hit points. 14 to 2018. Oh no, ours is better. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of that. And then we have a rat shield generator. Grade one. And that one is not quite as good as ours. Okay, so we'll get rid of that as well. Cool. So we have an excess of metal here. Let's just craft a pack. Or a couple packs just to get us under the capacity. And let's see here. We got a planet. Substantial amount of fuel elements. Okay, let's harvest. Oh, an accident. Uh, during the fuel harvesting process, a massive electrical storm appeared, frying equipment and damaging our ship. We lost one hit point, lost some metal. We did get some fuel, though. Okay, so we can go in there for repairs there or to buy stuff. We don't really have any credits, though. We do have six exotics now, which is nice. Um, I guess we're just going to head... Well, I guess we could... Mm, no, let's just go to the exit. All right, and a gate guard. This long-range warp gate is property of the Rat Empire. Those who wish to pass must pay the gate tax. 350 credits, seven exotics. Your rules inspire me to question them. Ready for battle? Leave now. Okay, we gotta, we gotta fight this guy. And it's a fairly big ship. Quite a bit of shield, 37, so we definitely need to go after this shield. So let's get our missile platform. And... So what they got here? Shield battery. Shield battery. There's the command bridge. Another shield battery. Wow, they have a lot of shield batteries. Uh, where is the actual shield generator, though? Okay. This one? That's a greenhouse. Uh, a science lab. Energy reactor. Defense. Where is it? Reactor, accelerator greenhouse, stealth cryptor. Hmm. Is this it? Shield generator. Okay, so we're going after this right here. And hopefully all those uh, batteries, shield batteries. Okay, we're going to focus our attention here. Try and get those shields down. Actually, how many weapons do they have? One. Two, and then they have an EMP missile, which uh, could be bad. Let's do one back at the generators here, the reactors. Okay, and I think we're gonna use this one too. Let's see how our first volley goes, and then we can possibly use our EMP. Oh boy, that's coming straight for us. Take him out. Nice. Oh, nice defense. Okay, so we took out uh, one of the batteries. Let's send this in now. The EMP. To hopefully... Or should I go after the weapons? I should just go to this area here. That takes out, could take out quite a bit of stuff. Alright. Hopefully our shields hold up here. Our defenses are, are doing quite well. There goes our missile. Nice, I like our defense system. Okay, so we took out uh, two of their batteries, their shield batteries. Uh, their shield is almost down. This is charging up again, our, our EMP. There we go, shield is down now. All right, let's uh, refocus this to go right on top of the shield generator. I don't want that coming back up. And you know what? 
Let's send that in there as well. Oh god. They have... Crew incoming. Okay, so let's get ready for boarding here. Uh, we will take... What can we do here? Can we take one person off of repair and put them on to here? We got a shield person. Uh, gunnery. Da, da, da. I guess we could take one off of the bridge. No, I think we'll keep two on the bridge. All right, maybe we can take them out though with our defense. Uh, let's see here. Tiger point defense. As soon as I get close, we'll try and target them. Oh god, they got three coming inbound, plus the EMP. Oh boy. Alright, take it out. Oh god, this is uh, not be gonna be so good. We took out their shield though, so that's good. Now, let's take out these. I'm just gonna fire into the heart of the ship there. And this one, what are these? Uh, those are rep point defenses, let's just send it in there. All right. The EMP has hit one of our reactors. Uh, we lost power to our shield, okay, that's bad. Uh, let's redirect power there. Um, what can we do here? We could probably turn this off. Can we redirect power here? At all? Um, let's turn... Uh, is there someone in there? There is someone in there. Don't want to turn that off. Hmm, I don't know if there's anything else we can turn off. I mean, that doesn't have power anyway. All right. Deflected. Uh, we have our enemies inbound. So let's take one person off the bridge now. Put them there. Uh, what are these guys doing? Are fighting? Yeah. We gotta take this ship out fast. Oh boy. <laughs> He's trying to put him out with the. Uh... Oh, we lost some drones. Okay, we took out the ship. Now we just gotta take out the borders. Alright, we did it. I think we lost, yeah, we lost one drone. We're down to seven now. Uh, we've got two more modules, more fuel, more of everything, more fate points. Oh, we still have to get this guy off. Okay, he's dead. Yikes. Okay, back up and running. Uh, we need to get our drone repair station here. So let's put this into storage. Uh, no, wait. Put that into storage. Go to our storage here, our drone repair. This one. Install that. Uh, oh, well, hold on. Install that. Oh wow, you are so close to being dead. Okay, go into cryo. And maybe our drones are okay, actually. Uh, I guess it's just, uh, yeah, these two are... Well, he's not that bad. What we need is a med bay. Alright, let's throw power back on there. And back on here. Yeah, maybe we don't need the uh, drone repair station. So let's put that back in storage. Uh, we do have a, another uh, reactor. And an auxiliary greenhouse. Let's see if we can use this to start growing some food to hopefully get us some more fuel. And we'll put that in storage for now. 
All right, so sector one, we are ready to warp out of here. Uh, let's go. It seems a lot has changed while you were in cryosleep, Captain. We've been cut off from intergalactic news for five years. The rats used to be less desperate about making a profit. New ship unlocked, Rogue Rat. Our AI has been tapping into the Rat Empire information networks and gained access to one of their most common ship blueprints. Cool. So we survived six battles, we destroyed eight ships, we found 18 modules, we visited 11 planets, we earned 11 fate points. Uh, we did not find any sector related perks. Huh. Okay. Onward. To sector two. All right, first sector or first star system seems to be okay here. The sector is unclaimed by major factions. However, intergalactic travel guides warn of pirates. A wild sector, they call it. Grab everything you can and let's leave this place quickly. All right, keep your eye out for pirates. Uh, let's craft a couple packs here of metal. We got a lot of extra metal we could probably use with an upgrade to our storage. Yeah, we have a multi-container ESM-1. A couple of those. Synthetic container there. Yeah, we need like a, just a large metal storage container. All right. So what does this mean? We can, oh, we can level up this skill, cool. Let's see here. Does everyone have level ups? Cool. Okay. So I think this is our scientist, so we should probably level up their science skill. All right. Who else we got here? Our, we could upgrade our pet. Uh, let's put them, let's give them some more shield experience they can help us out in a battle if our we need someone to hop on the shield okay you're our shield guy as well so we'll level that up all right you are our gunner level that that's a nice little bonus being able to level up stuff like this all right we got a couple drones on the other Weapon, so nothing to level up there. We still have this guy in cryo. Uh, he's a good repairer, so we'll level up his repairing skill. And our bridge, Captain. Level up your bridge skill. All right, everyone is leveled up. Uh, let's go back to the star map. And we'll take a look at our first lifeless planet. Small patch of the surface of this otherwise lifeless planet seems to uh, seep out fossilized organics with versatile properties. We would extract these substances to research and process it into star fuel or explosives. Conversion process requires setting up a few dedicated facilities. We can convert fuel with 50 metal, convert to explosives for 60. Uh, explosives we are pretty low on, so I think we should probably uh, focus on that. Critical malfunction. Oh god. Something went wrong during the processing. The conversion facility exploded, damaging equipment brought to the planet and igniting the whole patch of black goo. We were lucky that nobody got hurt and decided to abort the operation after finishing research. Oh, well, that didn't uh, work out well. We got 10 credits, though. Okay. Too bad. Gas giant, let's go get some fuel, I guess. Not enough fuel elements, okay. That's a bust. Onward to the next sector. Uh, so we have one fleet here, four planets, and one trade signal. Uh, fleet is probably the pirates. Uh, so let's figure out a path here. Let's go down to Finey, Etheria, Freeness, Heistus. 
Um, hmm. Or we'll go down here over Freenus, Miris. Os uh, there's no one way to do it, I guess. Uh, we'll go to Fri Finny first, anyway. Ah, uh, warp life. A lone gigantic warp animal is quickly floating toward our ship. Scans indicate it seems to be powering up destructive energies ready for it to attack. Our database suggests this uh, explosive guarantee creatures that explosives guarantee creature death. Uh, we don't have enough explosives while they're trying to escape it. We were able to escape the animal, although it tried to follow us via personal war poles, accounting for the rumors about space life's destructive capabilities. We considered ourselves lucky to survive the encounter. Recording of the warp animal behavior can be sold as Xeno data. Wild. Uh, let's check this out. Oh. Uh, no, we're in an asteroid belt, right? Okay, let's uh, hop out of the asteroid belt. A large asteroid. High value. Uh, the asteroid field has good mineral profile. There's a minor risk of getting hit by some of the fast moving rocks, however. Well, we are going to take that chance. Our hull is in pretty good shape, so we can avoid being hit a couple times. Asteroid collision. A rapidly twirling giant asteroid collided with our ship during the mining rock, uh, operation, causing minor damage. The asteroid's mineral core was a crystal with exotic properties. So we lost three hit points and we got one module. Probably an exotic. Natural artifact, exotic crystal. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Get what's inside. And we got four exotics. Awesome. Okay. Let's go back and we'll have to jump out of this field here to get to this planet. Let's do that. Okay, and we got some pirates. A single ship is rapidly approaching. Extortionist. There's a notorious slave ship nearby ready to warp in and bite you. I can prevent this from happening for a few exotics and don't get any ideas. I have a nuke and I don't care how many you have. Uh, I, don't, I really don't want to get rid of my exotics though. So we're going to go for battle. Another ship joins the battle area. The slaver wasn't bluffing after all. Uh, all right. Ooh, ooh, that's a big cannon. Yikes! One point, uh, one times eight damage. Thirteen shield. Uh, no shield on this one. Okay, so let's use our EMP since we have some extra exotics. Two. That thing is huge. Uh, we'll just. Send it in here, I guess. Try and do as much damage as possible. There's the nuke. Let's go for the nuke. Let's try and take that out. And then this one, we can focus down here. Uh, ECM turret. Reactor. Warp drive. Yeah, let's send it right there. And right there. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what happens here. Alright, we took something out already. Oh, we took out the bridge. Nice. It's a nice first volley. Deflecting. Ah, uh, we missed. Oh god, there goes the nuke, I assume? Is that the nuke? What is this? Can't tell. But we're trying to d disable it. Oh, it flew right past. Completely missed. Oh, this has got to be a boarding thing, hey? A drone. Pretty low level drone though. Okay. Uh, this ship is almost destroyed. 
So let's take one of these lasers off of it. And we'll refocus attention maybe over by the back section. All right, we took out uh, the fuel tank. Okay, I don't think that really matters, but we did take out something. They are leaking fuel. Maybe that'll force them to send people over there to repair it off of other stations. Oh God. Okay, that did some damage. Uh, took out our greenhouse and the cryo sleep. These guys are defrosting. We're, we've almost taken that one out. This one is almost taken care of as well. Wow. Jesus. That's a big hole in the middle of our ship. Okay, you two. Uh, you just go on repair for now. Alright, take this thing out. Take out the drone. Wow, it's got a lot of hit points. But we got it. Alright, now let's focus everything on this ship. It's very close to being done. We are out of ammo. Can't fire that anymore. And let's... Let's not use this anymore. Press to hold fire for that guy. Oh no, that's probably for all. Uh, I don't want this one to fire. Stop firing. Save our exotics. Well, we took quite a bit of damage there. So what did we get though? We got three modules. An exotic. Fate point. More metal. We have more metal than we know what to do with at this point. Uh, we got shield batteries here. Takes seven power. Uh, Multi-container. Uh, this is for organics, fuel, and exotics. I, I think we already have two of those, don't we? Uh, we have this one. Which I think is fine. I think we could just get rid of this. It's the exact same, hey? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. What is this? Terrain military engine. Quite a bit more powerful than ours. It uses more fuel. But it's got 16... It's got 24 speed, though. A lot faster. Than ours. Let's keep that. Oh, we have all this extra stuff though. All right, convert the extra organics to fuel. Uh, reactor that gives 10 power. That gives 13. What do we got here? 15, 12. We, we could switch that out for this one. Yeah, let's switch this out. Let's scrap this. Let's put this one in. Give us a bit more power. And then let's... Let's scrap this. Okay, we seem to free up some room here. Shield battery. We've got two things of shield batteries now. Let's store all that. We have our other laser. Another ECM turret. Our drone repair, science lab. You know what, we should have our science lab installed here. Oh, let's... Hmm, what are we going to do here? We need to get rid of something else here. The cooker. Well, we have a cooker and a grower now, so we can get food. Or no, we cook that into um, synthetics, right? Cook food into synthetics. Oh boy, we have too much stuff here. 
Um, let's scrap. Let's dump excess. Let's put that into storage. Let's get out our science lab, uh, which is here. And, oh man, that guy's so low. That's our scientist though. Can no one repair this? No. I guess we, oh yeah, we don't have anyone on repair. All right, let's get our drone over there to repair that, I guess. Use up some of our metal. Probably should have done that before we uh, dumped the rest. Okay. Uh, so we need more explosives for this gun. Alright, well, I th think we need, need to go to the next sector. So down we go. Metal objects. We have discovered a debris cloud of unknown origin. We can scavenge some of the metal and there might be something else useful amidst the broken pieces. Uh, under attack. Stealthy minefield. As we enter the debris cloud, our ship and utility bots were attacked by smart micro mines in the debris. Lost four hit points. Well, that didn't go so well. Gas giant. Always use more fuel. This gas giant is extremely dangerous. Okay, can't harvest that one. Uh, let's go to the space station. After this battle, apparently. A solipsist. Aha, we have another claims to be consciousness here. I don't like illusions and I will remove you. Our AI explains the solipsists believe their entire reality is just an illusion along with all beings except themselves. This makes the solipsists dangerous because they do not believe they can cause suffering to others. Even if this was all an illusion, why would you attack us? Offer feasible explanation to why this reality might be real. I'm gonna go to the first one. Not that question again. Okay, I won't attack you this time. You see, I'm staying unpredictable to find out if the illusion can cope with it. Okay, cool. We avoided a battle. Oh, and there's actually an artificial object back here. Let's go to the uh, station first, then we'll go back there. So, we can buy some modules. We should sell maybe some of our metal. Although it's not like we have a ton of that right now. We do have some extra in here though, so let's scrap these. Free up our inventory. That gives us 600. That's still not a lot. I wish I could sell the modules. Crew members. No. What kind of modules do you have? Cryo sleep for three. No need for food. No need for food. Gives us one more ship hit point. Fuel tank. For 550. Same as that. Cannon. Engines. Shield generator. Ah, nothing. Nothing really. No critical damage. Ah, right, we're doing okay. Okay, let's go back to this uh, artificial object. That is a lot. Oh no, actually no, it's not a lot closer. Cloud of artificial objects, possibly the remains of a space battle. Ship remains collected. At least two small ships were destroyed here. The most valuable stuff seems to have already been picked by whoever won the battle. All right, last one. Last one for today. Let's go to Frenus. Frenus. And we're jammed. Approaching ships. Two or three ships are rapidly approaching. Good God. What a way to end things here. 
Uh, just two. Neither with any uh, shield, which is nice. So we don't have any ammo for our missiles. Assuming the bigger ship is going to be our priority. Pretty high ship deflection. This only has the one weapon. So we'll just send one into here. One laser. And we'll send the other one. Uh, over here there's two weapons here. And we'll send our EMP into the midst. And then we're actually gonna put this back into storage. And we'll reinstall our other laser. Oh, no, there is a third ship here, too. Okay. Um, let's send one up here, then, too. That's cry of sleep there, as well. I like all the little different uh, variations in designs. All right, our other laser is up and running. Oh, we could definitely use another person. Maybe I should wake this guy up. Oh, he has zero. Very, very low skill in uh, artillery. Never mind. All right, it's taking some damage. Not a lot, though, so far. Um, this one we need to actually focus on someone. Uh, let's focus down here as well. Get everything firing. Our shield is still up. So that's good. And they're missing quite a bit. Oh, and we have... One of the hostile ships is charging up its warp drive. Okay. Um... Attacking fire extinguisher drone. I'm not too worried about them. Uh, so I believe only the big one has the warp drive here. So who is focused over here right now? Let's try to take that out. Uh, we've done quite a bit of damage on this one. Let's focus that up here. You know what? We could actually even stop this one. Save our exotics for a bigger battle. Um, hopefully that... Okay, we got one down. Oh, we have a firefighter drone inbound. Okay. Alright, we got him. And... They have a uh, escape pod, it looks like going off. Uh, that one's aimed over there. Who's the lowest here? Five. Yeah, let's focus over here. Our ship hole doing very good. This guy is just aimlessly wandering around. <laughs> Pirate space pod. Maybe we can cat for him after. All right, that guy's almost done. There we go, that one's done. They are both done. And we have John Vader. <laughs> John Vader and Gabe Cromar floating around in space. Four modules, a lot of metal and synthetics. Quite a bit of metal, actually. Uh, another, another bridge. I think that's the same as ours, right? Yep. So let's scrap that. Another armored ECM turret. Another engine, which is actually a little bit faster than ours. But ours does have the asteroid defense bonus, which this one does not, so we will scrap that. And this one. There's another one of the same of this, hey? 
Yeah, so let's scrap that. Oop, actually, make sure we're scrapping the right one. And we'll take this. So we got a few cool components here, modules. I would really like to get some more crew members though. So we could um, utilize more of our modules. Like we could uninstall our warp drive. We haven't actually used this yet. Let's store that. And let's install. Should we do some more countermeasure stuff? This one has, has seven ship evasion bonus. Or we could do shield batteries. How much extra power do we have? Only three extra power right now. Shield batteries, this one takes seven as well. Yeah, let's uh, install this. Oh, that's only a warp drive slot. slot. Can I do anything with this? Oh, so it has to be a warp drive? Cannot be upgraded. Damn it. Never mind. Never mind. Mm, I guess we can't do anything right now. Okay, I think that'll do it for today, guys. Our ship, uh, a little bit of damage on the outside. Not too bad, though, overall. This uh, sector has gone pretty well, this sector two. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more shortest trip to Earth. And we'll be back before too long. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.